Like I said before, I think Drew McIntyre is going to be the one who makes out in all of this. Now, he didn't make out this past weekend when it came to his gear, and this was posted up to the main site earlier today by Joseph Courier. Before WrestleMania 40, maybe some of you saw Drew McIntyre send out a tweet that some had assumed was just some uh, some trolling by him. But no, McIntyre claimed that UPS lost his ring gear, and he used that opportunity to mock CM Punk, asking if he could borrow some trunks from Punk, because, you know, he wouldn't need them. Well, special effects artist Jason Baker revealed on Tuesday that McIntyre really did have his gear lost in the mail before WrestleMania. Baker's wife, Mandy, who is a production designer, worked all night on Saturday so that McIntyre would have new gear for his match against Seth Rollins. His gear was legit lost, said a tweet from Baker. My phenomenal wife, uh, Sandy Mimpson, at Sandy Mimpson, if you want to go ahead and, and give her a thumbs up for her uh, diligent work in getting Drew some gear for WrestleMania. Uh, she stayed up until 6 a.m., had the replacement gear ready before the, start of our, before the start of night two. She is an absolute legend. Rollins and McIntyre opened the show on Sunday. McIntyre defeated Rollins to win the World Heavyweight title, but then obviously his reign Ended almost immediately. Damon Priest came out and cashed in on McIntyre after CM Punk had attacked him. So there you go. Drew McIntyre just... And he'll turn turn that screw up into a, a, a way to mock CM Punk. I am sure tonight, after whatever airs on AEW Dynamite... Drew McIntyre is going to take that and use it against CM Punk. And CM Punk is also going to take that and use it as well, too. Let's see what AEW can use it for. On the show tonight, which is taking place from Charleston Coliseum in Charleston, West Virginia, Anna Jay against Mariah May, a six-man tag team match with Chris Jericho, Hook, and Katsuyori Shibata against Shane Taylor Promotions, which is Lee Moriarty, Shane Taylor, and now Anthony Agogo, if you hadn't seen that. AEW TNT title match, Adam Copeland will defend against Penta El Zero Miedo in a world title eliminator match. Samoa Joe will face Dustin Rhodes. Timeless Tony Storm will host a Charleston Champagne Toast with her opponent for Dynasty, Thunder Rosa. Who is not announced on the show? Well, Mercedes Monet, big free agent signing, not advertised. Will Ospreay, big free agent signing, not advertised. Kazuchika Okada, big name free agent signing, not advertised. Brian Danielson's not advertised. John Moxley, FTR, Christian, no. But the Young Bucks are going to show never-before-seen backstage footage from London at All In. We talked about it a little yesterday on the show. Why are they doing this? What is going to be accomplished from this? I don't know. I am excited to see it. I am interested to see it. And as somebody that will usually, just because I'm old, you know, I usually just will watch a little of the show, usually fall asleep, wake up in the morning. I never have a problem, you know, with, with trying to immediately watch it like Brian does. No, nope, it's all there. DVR, everything's fixed for me. Watch the show. But I'll be watching live tonight. I, I, I'll be doing it. It'll be interesting to see when they decide to go ahead and show this footage. I'm guessing probably going into the second hour. I don't think, you know, dragging it out all the way to the end of the show is a good idea. But I hope they have a good idea for what takes place after this. I assume the Young Bucks are going to be in character talking about this. Yes, they are legitimate executive vice presidents of the company. Will they have that hat on or will they have on their their new little Kango driving hats that they've been walking around in recently? And this is going to be a whole lot of business attached to it. And it's going to be a whole lot of pro wrestling that gets attached to it. And if I'm AEW, I, I, I hope, I hope that I can get some business out of this. And my assumption remains the same today as it was yesterday. The young bucks are facing off against noted punk friends, FTR 
for the Tag Team Championship coming up on the 21st at Dynasty. So you got a couple of weeks to lead into that. You have a couple of weeks for the Young Bucks to really be under the skin of FTR. Noted friends of CM Punk can play into that storyline. We'll talk about it a little bit later on. But Jack Perry, he's in the country. He's been working for New Japan Pro Wrestling. They have a show coming up on Friday in Chicago. Scapegoat called out by the Young Bucks last week. Name dropped by the Young Bucks last week. Seems like that would be a a perfect way to enter him in. And considering they're down two people in the elite, getting rid of Omega and Hangman Page being suspended, at least from the elite, well, perfect. Jack Perry can join up with them. And if you're one of those people like me who believes that FTR will ultimately win that match at Dynasty, well, there. You got Jack Perry, who was just in a match last weekend with uh, with House of Torture, facing off against Mockley, Moxley and, and Shooter, Shota Umino. Could we see Jack Perry in the Young Bucks against the Blackpool Combat Club? You can work FTR in that way, since Blackpool Combat Club has got victories over FTR. We'll see. Seems like it's a way you can kind of weave everything together there. And then there's the wild card in all of this, Edge and House of Black. Now, during Edge's speech, his big rally, rah-rah speech that they had last week to begin the show, well, he called out House of Black. One of the things that was talked about after the fight happened at All In, after everything took place, there was that deal about Brody King. Did he punch a wall? Did he kick a wall? Did he injure that hand that was all bandaged up? Did he hurt it in the match? When did that happen? Well, I don't know. But are they the guys that CM Punk supposedly walked out with when he said, I got some guys with me and I went out there and and asked Jack what was up? Would play nicely into what's going on with Edge and Malachi. Plays into real life about everything that's been talked about with the House of Black, whether they want to be there or not, whether they want to do jobs or not, whether they want any of that or not. You know, we got a guy in Edge who's just, he is happy to be there. He told you that. He loves it there. He loves his boss. He loves everything about it. Malachi Black, you don't like that. Buddy Matthews, Brody, you don't like that. Well, guess what? Now you got to deal with me. I'm, I might be giving everybody too much credit here. I'm doing a lot of fantasy booking here. You know, this whole thing can just be a, one huge dud. But I would hope that this is going to result, you know, with a plan with some business to follow it. Because otherwise, what are you doing here? What are you going to prove? What are you going to accomplish? Like, you know, people have talked about, we've talked about it on this show, about the the guillotine the the front face lock that Punk got Jungle Be- Jungle Boy in. There was talk immediately after that, certainly coming from one side more than another. And then I guess some people that had no dog in the fight that said, you know, Perry got out of it rather quick. Okay, so what are we going to be seeing tonight then? Are we going to be seeing that? We're, we're probably not going to, to see Tony Khan in fear of his life, I, I wouldn't think. I don't know. But bottom line is, I hope they have a plan for this. And like I said, Mercedes not on the show, Osprey not on, Okada not on, Danielson Moxley. Okay, you know what? Do you what else are you going to do on this show? Because on paper, the matches that you have, I'm not bashing any of those matches, but that doesn't. If you just put those there without the specter of the CM Punk video being shown, okay. Okay, that's a collision car. That's that's what it is. Where's the flash? Where's something that's going to happen? And I hope they have that for their sake tonight. I hope they have something planned. I hope they have a great idea that's going to go around this thing and is going to be on the shoulders of this thing. You know, it's got to. You got to have something. Because once you do it and then it's over with, okay, what are you going to bring people back with? Three out of the last four weeks, under 800,000 viewers. It has not been going well for them when it comes to TV. Now, granted, a lot of people in their demos, when you look at the demos, you can see a lot of people that were checking out the NBA, were checking out the NCAAs, were checking out other things. There was all of that competition. Well, tonight, you got no excuse. 
You got no excuse whatsoever. And it'll be interesting to see what that quarter gets as well as what the rest of the show gets and if they get any momentum for all of the other things that happen on the show that aren't related to CM Punk and whatever the Young Bucks are going to show tonight. But we'll have to see how everything goes. It is uh, it's certainly interesting. It is certainly interesting. And again, again, the lack of good rap beef taking place. I'm, I'm ready for this. I am. And at the end of the day, Drew McIntyre is going to take all of it and use it for himself. I guarantee that. He'll be the most entertaining guy out of all of this. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.